everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and most of you have been through the uh, ice storm where a lot of people lost power and all that, you know, I mean, we were without power for a few days also, um, but of course, you know, we have some solar stuff and propane stuff, so, you know, we're good with that, but let me show you what the ice did to the garden. So most of our buckets and things like that um, have been, you know, already kind of turned over. So there's probably like mice or something living under them, bugs that might have taken shelter underneath, you know, all that time. This is what's left of the greenhouse that um, <laughs> we had put together. And we're probably going to uh, get some uh, thick plastic or uh, we've actually been considering, you know, silicone. But, I mean, I don't know. My poor little peppers in there. They froze to death. They froze to death. There's so many things in here that had died. Uh, the birds that come, you can kind of see birds, maybe mice or something that come and eaten my little sunflowers that have been drying uh, for the seeds, but yeah, all the peppers that were doing really well out here, even, you know, it don't matter if you've got a heat source, if your, if your, uh, plastic doesn't hold up to the ice, <laughs> so what's going on in the pallets? Nothing but onion. The onion is the only thing that's going on out here. What the little Siberian tomatoes that had done so well in frost and in, um, we call it the, it, I mean, there was sleet out here for a while. It did fine, and they did fine in the sleet. It was the, it was the ice. I mean, everything had ice sickles. You know, it, it, it looked like a winter wonderland out here. Now, these greens, um, the ground was, um, under, I don't know, it was at least in maybe a quarter inch of ice, and so unfortunately, when they're under that much ice, the deer cannot smell the pepper and cannot smell the cinnamon, and so they took some nibbles off of it. Still, they didn't eat very much of it, and of course, you can see these uh, collards are already reseeding, well, yeah, they're already reseeding themselves and recouping from Now that's funny. There are deer tracks and then there's a a dog that ran through here following the deer tracks. <laughs> or a coyote, I don't know. But anyway, moving on, um we didn't really have anything else growing out here. In fact, we're going to take these stakes down and um, we're going to do this area a little bit differently. We're actually going to do uh, pallets out here. Um, a little bit anyway. I've got a way that I plan my garden using simple paint techniques. Some of my gourds did good out here. The others did what most gourds do when you don't really do anything with them. The bugs went into them to live. There's probably some bugs living in them now because I see some bug holes. Look at that. They went in to survive, so they thought. But I'll actually clean one out and see what's going on. Looks like something ate one or, no, it broke off. We'll go to the other side and look. Look at that. It's a lot of gourd seeds in there, though. Anybody want some gourd seeds? Yep, that one got pretty big on the, on the vine. It just kind of broke in half. Now this area that had uh, flowers in it, mostly wildflowers, nothing's going on here. So I mean, if there were any flowers that were supposed to come up this next season, um, unfortunately they will be covered up.
some of these did better than others as far as keeping the mosquitoes out or keeping the water out. Look at that. That's a leaf from my little uh, windmill. Um, I have no idea where the ladybug went. It's kind of what happens, you know, when the ice is over. There's grass and stuff in there. When that thaws, there'll be mosquitoes in there. One, two, three, four, five. These uh, TPs didn't just fall. That deer print had something to do with that. Check that out. See the, the deer prints in the cardboard? The deer have come through here probably rubbing antlers. That, that would be my guess. I got a lot of garden cleanup to do. But anyway, I'm, I'm walking you guys over to something. I'm actually, I've got a message in my madness while I'm kind of zigzagging here. I'm looking into to things and just kind of keeping things in mind. Uh, the strawberries were protected by the A-frame. All right, so this had uh, Georgia collards and snow peas. Now, if you can see, there's no sign of, of pea pods or anything like that. Whatever we left when we picked last, the deer and mice and whatever else got those. You can see deer tracks all in here. But, there's one collard over there sitting there by itself. This grass just kind of came up on its own. Uh, even though we had ca uh, cardboard in here, you know, when the deer poop, you know, grass seed and all that, so I, I don't really like that. Can't really do much about that, but I, you know. And this was where the corn was, and you can see there's no corn, but everywhere there was corn, now there's grass in each row. <laughs> so, um, when we cardboard this over, um, we're either going to cardboard it or we're going to use the thin paper. I'd rather cardboard it and um, build a bed from that or build several beds or put pallets out. And we have been collecting pallets. We have been collecting pallets. 